and we really have to act in order to mitigate the worst of the possibilities. The energy and climate change problem should capture our imagination and our aspirations. Why? Because it is the most important challenge that science and technology must solve for ourselves and our children and grandchildren. And so I want to leave this uh, quote with you from Martin Luther King. He spoke in 1967 about ending the Vietnam War, but these words actually ring more true about today's crisis. And he said, we are now faced with the fact, my friends, that tomorrow is today. We are confronted with the fierce urgency of now. In this unfolding conundrum of life and history, there is such a thing as being too late. Thank you. I believe that you cannot rely purely on the nation state to solve this gigantic problem of climate change where governments, business and industry certainly have a unique opportunity and a unique responsibility. But all of this will only materialize if we have large scale grassroots actions. And the time has come when I think people have to take the initiative into their own hands. And they have to pass on the message to decision makers among all the stakeholders in society, whereby they start taking decisions that would provide the incentives, that would provide the motivation and the inspiration for moving in the right direction. So if there was ever a moment when you needed people, consumers, and grassroots movements to take the initiative in their own hands, that moment is now, and I hope that will happen. Thank you very much.